My name is Jenna Spry and I'm doing fine art and I'm actually a joint honours student so I major fine art but I'm also doing history of art um, and I'm in my third year. Um, before I came to Brooks I studied a foundation to play my art and design at Plymouth College of Art in Devon. I chose to study at Brooks because, partly because of the location, Oxford's a beautiful place, um, it's got a lot of history so it works both for contemporary art and historical art. Um, it's close to London without being in London, um, which was important to me because I wanted to have access to all the contemporary art galleries in London, but I didn't like the idea of being in the centre of London. Um, also the university itself, the School of Arts, um, the Richard Hamilton building where Fine Art is based, it's quite an intimate building and I quite like that because you get to know all the members of staff really well um, and you get to know your peers very well and the studio atmosphere is really nice here. Throughout my degree I've learned a lot of skills, um, I've learned a lot of research skills, um, you get to learn a lot of practical skills, for example photography, sculpture, um, mould making, um, so when you start off doing fine art in your first year you will have quite almost like on foundation course if anyone's done that before, quite a broad overview, um, you'll have workshops in all the different areas, so sculpture, Printmaking, we've got a great printmaking department here, um, photography and filmmaking, um, and then as the year you know the years progress as you go into your second and third year, you can really learn to apply those skills to your own research and your own practice. And that I found really helpful. As I go into my uh, final year, uh, or my fine art degree show, which is starting this summer. Um, my work's become very research-based. I'm quite influenced by archaeology. My work is very much about ordering and taxonomy and finding order amongst chaos. The best thing about studying at Brooks for me is the um, studio atmosphere, the mixed year groups, we're all mixed in together so you can get a lot of influences from each other's work. Um, the technicians are fantastic um, and the workspaces and all the areas are great. Um, they're always willing to help you and because it's quite, compared to other art establishments, it's fairly intimate, you get to know all the technicians very well so they're very willing to help you with any problems you've got um, and that's something that I really wanted to get from coming to Brooks because rather than being in an art establishment where you're working with just other artists I felt I really wanted to come to Brooks because it was a university with all sorts of diverse range of studying different things because art isn't just influenced by art, it's influenced by history, geography all these other things. We've got all these other departments as well you can go to if you ever need anything. A great science department here willing to help you. The advice I'd have for students coming to Brooks would be to be very open-minded. I'd say that's a good start. I wouldn't come to a fine art course with... For example, I came to fine art thinking I was a painter and I've ended up doing installation and sculpture. So I'd say when you come to books, be very open-minded with where your work can lead you because through your research and development throughout the course you'll find it will change and I think it's better if you embrace that um, because your work will be better for it. The Fine Art Degree Show in the summer, um, we have to raise a budget for that, so that's to raise money for the catalogue, um, drinks at the event, you know, the opening night and all these sorts of things and for that we have to organise all sorts of fundraising events. Um, which has been quite fun but also quite challenging. People have done lots of different things. Um, some people in my year have organised fun runs, um, a lot of cake stalls, um, nights out, um, and I did um, a nail art bar um, where I set up um, in Gypsy Lane, the main foyer. You can, you've got bookable spaces, so I booked out a table and did people's nails and had people pay to do that. Um, so it's a chance for you to, if you've got any weird hobbies, even if they're not related to art, you can, the university is quite willing to help you use those to raise money for the degree show. When I finish my studying, um, I think I'd like to work. <laughs> um, I was thinking of doing masters because obviously art is such a broad subject. Um, there are a lot of masters out there. I was thinking about art therapy. That's something I've always had in mind because I did psychology at A level as well. Um, but for the moment I'd like to take a year to just get some experience outside of the walls of university 
um, get, yeah, really get some work experience in the art world, see what I like, um, and then in a couple of years' time, if I still want to do a master's, I will consider doing that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to applying what I've learned on my degree to the real world. I'm looking at gallery and museum work, um, anything behind the scenes, whether that be marketing or upfront, you know, um, selling work, um, maybe even exhibiting work. Um, I'm not really, I don't really mind at this point, I'm kind of quite open-minded to, even if it's just working in an art establishment somewhere, just really kind of getting to know the work world of art <laughs> rather than the studying world. <laughs>